gonna start right off the T.O.P. with the one and only amazing immortal technique in the house. Welcome, sir. What's up, brother? How you doing, Chuck? Honored to be here, man. Where do we begin, bro? I mean, really, seriously, you symbolize the voice of truth all around the world in the name of rap music and hip hop. Because if you go on rap, you see something, say something, right? I'm a rapper, I do hip hop. Rap me, Rap me, I'm from where the golden diamonds are ripped from the earth Right next to the slave castles where the water is cursed From where police brutality's not half as nice It makes the hood in America look like paradise Compared to the AIDS-infested Caribbean slum African streets with the passports and American gun Omade International contacted me at the Rock the Bells concert I talked to a young lady by the name of Shamsia He was out to sign autographs I went up in line and said that we have an organization that's helping orphans in Afghanistan and if you would be interested in helping us. I'm from where they cut your hands off if you make a fist and niggas go coca cause the job market doesn't exist except slave labor, modern day company store and peacekeepers don't ever, ever, ever come here no more. I'm from one of the bombs that they used to drop on Vietnam still as children born deformed eight months before they gone. I'm from where they lost the true meaning of the Quran cause heroin is not compatible with Islam and niggas know that but grow that poppy seed anyway cause that food drop parachute does not come every day. I'm from where people pray to the gods that they conquer us and practically every president's a money launderer from where the only place democracy is acceptable is if America's candidate is electable and they might even have a black president but he's useless cause he does not control the economy stupid lock and load your gun where I'm from the third world son just thought I'd remind you <laughs> tell him put in your fist up is a is a sign of, of freedom in, uh, in America, freedom against oppression. Libertad. Kabul, Wardak. Wardak. See your picture of Peru? Where? Oh, yeah, that is. That's where I'm from. That's the question. The so-called third world countries might all speak different languages, but our struggles are very much the same. We've experienced war, genocide, revolution, occupation, and our roots are based in some of the greatest civilizations. Our stories of colonization sound so similar that sometimes they even make the streets look the same. When I began to learn and understand things about the world, I was set free. The more they learn and the more they read, they can set themselves free rather than relying on someone else to come set them free. If they can come from here, then the rest of the world will seem very easy. I tell them that I wish them very well in everything that they do. If democracy in the minds of American people is voting once every four years, then we're really fucked. It's the institutions that are set up by a democracy that guarantee a democracy. Media censorship blocking out the video screens. A continent of oil kingdoms bought for a bargain. Democracy is just a word when the people are starving. The average citizen made to be blind to the reason. A desert full of genocide where the bodies are freezing. And the world doesn't believe that you're fighting for freedom. Because you fucked the Middle East and gave birth to a demon. It's open season. With the CIA bugging my crib Trapped in the ghetto region Like a Palestinian kid Where nobody gives a fuck Whether you die or you live A good friend of mine Burned me a copy of Revolutionary Volume 2 On the CD he wrote Listen to track number 10 And track number 10 was the fourth branch So I got in my car and I put that track on And I was so affected by that song that I kept driving around my neighborhood for probably like another half hour just like listening to it over and over again. When I first met Shamsia, 
and the people of Omade International. I saw how committed they were. That's what eventually led to the creation of the Amin Institute. Some grass. Oh, yeah, have like gardening stuff. projects for them. It's a really big yard. Our opening day is not for 10 days. And now we just got to get the kids. How you doing? Salam. Salam. There was just so much devastation and so many different problems that needed to be addressed there. We thought the most obvious way was to help children. Sometimes it's hard to reach adults because they've already been through so much. But if you can start at the, at the root level, then you might be able to have some level of success. The way society is trying to come out of that war, wartime mentality and economy and everything really makes projects like this difficult to get off of the ground. There's a crazy security situation, and checkpoints everywhere and soldiers and all kinds of kidnappings and things like that going on that we had to think about besides this mountain of work that we had to do. But myself, my group and Technique agreed that us not going and postponing this would only add to the insecurity. Us going there and having to take that risk would be a part of creating a more secure situation and allowing for the reconstruction to happen. We're in Kabul right now picking out a carpet for the floor of the entire household where the children will be staying. What do you say? What is it? was it last night. Last night? Yeah. Well, last night we went out to go to the kebab spot. She then I went to a little bazaar and then underneath, underground, in the area. It's not good, it's not safe. I worry about the safety. I lost the, the, the two friends. Two friends? Yeah. They find you over there, you look, come and find you where, where to live. Um, Nighttime comes, pick you up, nobody knows. Right. Please. People follow people around here a lot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially if, if they know you're yeah. America, forget it. <laughs> really, there is. I Do you think anybody goes to, uh, to uh, Jalala, but it's not easy. <laughs> I know, Find I know. your friend. If anybody take over there, give him 10,000. <laughs> oh, really? ground right there you'll see that there is a house that's intact and then next to it is a house that is only half a house we've attracted a lot of local attention we're on the move show him that he can see himself in this <laughs> <laughs> boys will be boys no matter what country you're in. Eh? <laughs> Wait a little bit. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No cry, no cry, no cry. Strong, strong, strong. Strong. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. What do you say? Afghanistan. He has to be strong to show the world that Afghanistan is strong. Tell him he has to be strong. He has to be strong, tough. Tell him, uh, hold on. See if I have something. Yeah. Give me this. Uh, Metro card. 
بدون شورش هم مرگم میشه انقلاب این نیست که ما شورش بکنیم و ظاهره بکنیم انقلاب فکریست انقلاب اندیشهیست ما باید در اندیشه ها انقلاب بکنیم هرگاه اندیشه ها تغییر کرد جامعه تغییر میکنیم اصلا این که در دوران طالبان شما چی میکنیم؟ اینجا درس میکنیم؟ در دوران طالبان من خودم در خط مقاومت بودم امروی طالبان جمعی میکنیم در دوران You find it among them, and working in that fashion is the way that you free your mind. Some of these don't exactly fit, but we're making them fit. So, it's a mission. You can smell it in the air. You can see it in the people's eyes. They know the price of revolution. In a thousand years, we're going to be judged based upon what we partook in here. Not the United States of America, but us as a species. over but the world is still getting colder atlas walking through the projects with the hood on my shoulders i would like to raise my children to grow to be soldiers but then a general would decide when they like to be over so i work hard until my personality splits like the black panthers into the bloods and the crips they said i'd never be shit but now i sit and reminisce like yeshua ben yosef flipping through genesis ignorance is venomous and it murders the soul spreading like a virus running rampant out of control so if i should ever fall and get caught in the hustle let them know that i died while i fought in the struggle from the hood rats The rich kids lost in a bubble, spray painted on the streets and in the subway titles. Write it down and remember that we never gave in. The mind of a child is where the revolution begins. So if the solution has never been to look on yourself, how is it that you expect to find it anywhere else? Panjshir, Afghanistan, immortal technique, motherfucker. That's what it is. Thank you. Iag musikis banam rap megani musiki rap rap. از چی می ترسی در دنیا زیاد؟ در دنیا زیاد می نزم چی که با هم که می مانند مدنون زیاد در آینده چی وزیفه می در آینده می خواهیم که دکتری می جنری شد با چرا؟ به وطن خدا باد کنم چی شد؟ آزان دکتر دکتر چرا؟ به خاطر که به مدن های کنم با کنم می خواهیم دیگه وزیر شم که به مدن های خود کمک کنم Let's see what this kid's doing. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's do it. Let's do it. You ready? You two. Ready? One, two, three. Underground hip hop money. No corporate sponsors here. Oh yeah? What if I just go? I want to bring someone on stage who has been a personal inspiration to me, my good friend Shamsiel from Omade International. We were in Afghanistan together and we saw a group of young girls walking by and they were on their way to school. And I remember she said, you know what, that's a revolutionary sight. During the reign of the Taliban, 
they wouldn't have been allowed to go to school, which does more for anything than spending billions of dollars to bomb people into fucking oblivion when we don't even understand their culture.